Jonathan from Rain Brothers here, rainbrothers.com. Today we're going to review how to hook up a rainwater harvesting system uh, and pressurize that water to supply an irrigation system. There are a couple ways to do that and I'll review uh, the, the, the best practices. Pump technology has come a long ways, especially with rainwater harvesting systems in the past five years even. Particularly, manufacturer Grundfoss has made a couple different cistern pump options that really make it easy to take your rainwater harvesting system and feed it to an irrigation system with very minimal uh, work. You can do that with either a jet pump model, which would be the MQ series uh, available on our website, or the Grundfos SBA model, which is a submersible type cistern pump. And this uh, also is available on our website. Both of these models have built-in flow switches that will detect uh, when flow is being demanded. Uh, and in this case, we're talking about when either you manually or through a, an irrigation controller automatically open an irrigation zone. As soon as that happens, these, both these models will detect that flow demand and will turn on and automatically pressurize the system and feed your irrigation system. So this technology is really uh, advanced and it, it, it makes life a whole lot easier for, for installers and homeowners alike. There is another uh, method for uh, powering your irrigation system with a rainwater harvesting system. Ordinarily, a, a pump like this would be wired up out of the tank into the house or into a structure to a pressure tank through, the, and this wire would ultimately go into a pressure switch and then back to your panel, and a pressure switch would operate the pump between a given pressure range. That's an ordinary setup for like a household application. For an irrigation system, we can, we can bypass that and bypass the need for a pressure tank and a pressure switch and, and all that. Um, and instead, we run our wire up to, a, to a, a junction box inside the tank. And then we continue the wire out and into what's called a pump start relay. In a relay, it's like a light switch. You can think of it as a light switch. There's a line side and a load side. A side, uh, so we'll, we'll run our wire from the pump into the load side, run uh, power from our household electrical panel to the line side, and this, will, this relay will always keep the power disconnected. In other words, the pump will be off until it gets a relay signal from your irrigation control panel telling it to turn on. So in other words, again, we're running power from this pump to the relay box in, and then from the relay box out, we're going back to our electrical supply panel. Also from the relay box, we have two 18 gauge wires that will be connected to control wiring that will go back to the irrigation panel. Usually, usually the irrigation controller and the, and the pump start relay are located side by side. So we're running control wiring from this relay into the, into the irrigation controller. Each irrigation controller is set up differently, but most have a panel behind the main control area. You will run that, that solenoid wire into appropriate terminals to control the relay switch that's in that, in that box. Once you wire up your relay wiring into the irrigation controller, you then set your irrigation controller to turn on your, your zone valves automatically like you ordinarily would. And assuming that it's wired up with the relay correctly, every time an irrigation zone turns on, once that irrigation zone turns on, it's gonna open the solenoid in your irrigation system. And it's also gonna send a signal to the relays, the relay box. And again, just like a light switch, that signal is gonna uh, close that circuit and turn on the pump. So automatically, as soon as that, that zone valve turns on, it's also gonna turn this relay on to turn the pump on. So you'll have pressurized water. Again, this is a great way to really simplify your irrigation system if you have a more traditional pump like this. If you install a pump start relay with your irrigation controller to control your pump, it is extremely important to make sure that somewhere between the pump and your first uh, zone valve that you install what's called a pressure relief valve. Um, this would be 
Um, likely underground in a valve box. You put a bushing in your main line and thread this in there. Make sure you have a, a pressure relief valve in your system because let's say zone one or zone three or any of your zones, let's say the valve sticks and it, it stays closed. The uh, irrigation controller is still calling for that valve to turn on, but if it's a bad valve, it's not gonna turn on. It's gonna stay closed. But this irrigation controller is also telling the irrigation pump to turn on. So if that valve sticks closed, but the irrigation pump is on, it's gonna build up a lot of pressure in, in the plumbing, and this pressure relief valve will purge that pressure if it builds up to um, 75 PSI or 100 PSI, whatever your, your relief valve is rated at. You can also bypass that issue again by simplifying the installation. With, with one of these Grunfoss model pumps, you don't have to worry about that. If you have a bad valve, this pump isn't going to detect a need for flow because that valve stayed closed. As soon as the valve opens, it detects the need for flow, it turns on. So with this, this pump or this pump, you do not need a pump start relay. You don't need a pressure tank. You don't need to tie it to the irrigation controller. You just need to plumb it up, power it, and off you go. One last note with any irrigation system, if you do run your pump through a pump start relay and your irrigation controller, it's important to note that at that point, you're not using a pressure switch to operate the pump. You're not using a, a pressure tank. Let's say you wanted to install a yard hydrant or a faucet from your cistern or your rainwater tank in addition to powering an irrigation system. You won't be able to do that with a pump start relay and an irrigation controller because if you open that faucet, ideally you want pressurized water to come out, but now the pump is only being controlled through the irrigation controller. So the irrigation controller isn't gonna know that you open up a spigot or a yard hydrant. It's only gonna know when it automatically opens up zone valves to run the, run the water line. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, please visit our website, www.rainbrothers.com, where you'll find more information as well as all of the products you see here. Thank you very much.